Right. Hi everybody, this is Helen, your Stamping Up demonstrator from Bell Block in New Zealand. Nice to catch up with you again today. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, it's a bit cold and not very nice outside, so it's nice to be inside in the classroom and be able to do some crafting. So I've been um, doing a, um, I made another card for specialty class, so that's been exciting. Um, to have time to just sit down and create this morning. I need to go and put another coat of paint on the ensuite, so that's my this afternoon's job after I finish my Facebook Live. So there's a few people coming on board. I see Lynette's there. Hi, Lynette. Nice of you to join me today. Um, I hope everything's going well for you. Uh, it's always nice to catch up with ladies on a Thursday. So I will put you on my card tree and we'll start to create my card today and then I'll have a bit of a chat to you at the end and show you some other things I'm going to be doing this weekend. Okay, so just a moment. I'll put you up there. Right, I'll just check to make sure it's coming on my iPad so I can keep an eye on things. Yes, it is. Right. Okay. Um... Move it forward a fraction. Um, I can't really move it a lot. Let's see if that helps. Is that better? That might be a bit better. Um, yeah, I think that's better. Right. <clears throat> so what I thought I'd use today is the beautiful Zany Zoo papers. They are stunning. I did a class on the weekend with the Zany Zoo. We did a set of cards. Um, it was great. It was really good. But we do have um, lots of different papers in there. So these are the musical ones. So of course all the little animals are all playing musical instruments. You've got these are the wheels. So they've all got wheels of some sort. Bikes and roller skates and scooters and things. Uh, then we have these ones. So these are more like the party animals. Um, tossing the cupcakes, the balloons, the presents. So that's a little party page. We have the adventure page with all the little animals that are having an adventure. We also have this one, which is like the hobbies. I always think it's the hobbies. It's like, you know, the knitting and the reading and the baking and all those sort of things. And then we have a page. Let's get rid of that one. And this is it here. And it is the dancing. So I thought I would use the dancing um, animals to create my card today. Love them. I think they are so cute. Look at this little sheep, little deer. They are really, really gorgeous. So I'm going to use those today. Um, and the easiest way, I do need to cut a couple out, but this little girl here, a little tiger, she has a cutter. So this is the stamp set that goes with it. Stamp set with dies. So we do have here, it's that one there. And so she fits on there. So each page has one animal that can be cut out using a die. Okay. Um, so that will work for her. We may have, what else am I going to have? Um, I might have, should we have the lamb? Oh, I might just have this. I wonder if she'll fit. She's quite cute, the little reindeer. So if she's going to face that way, I need something to face that way. I wonder if the hippopotamus will work. Sometimes it's not till you start to put your card together that you know what's going to fit. So anyway, I can go and cut them out later. Um, they're a great paper to put aside and cut all your animals out when you're watching TV at night or something. And then you'll have them and they'll be all ready to use when you want to use them. So I might do the part of the card I need to put these little animals on and then I'll see which animals fit on there the best, okay? So I'll just put those aside for a moment. Right, the other thing I have is lots and lots of pieces of cardstock. Now, I have a piece here that I've already put through this embossing folder. It just basically saves me bringing over my large cutting and embossing machine. So I've used the metal plate 3D for this piece. Okay, so that's that embossing folder. Great, love that embossing folder. I'm also going to use this one, which is our little thin one. Now, this is part of the geometric pattern, so it's that one down there. So that's what I'm going to use on this piece a little bit later. Right, I'll go through the measurements of the pieces as we use them. As you can see, there's lots and lots of things. So I'm using Coastal Cabana, Real Red and White. So we'll start with our largest piece. 
to move this back a fraction. Right, so this piece is, oh, I've got it on, I've got my piece of paper upside down. I was in such a hurry trying to get organized. Let's just turn it around because then it's easier for you to see the measurements. Let me just straighten that down there like that. Okay, so much easier. So this piece is 15 centimeters by 25 centimeters. Okay, and this is your main base of your card. So what we're going to do is we, oops, we're going to bring my trimmer in, and we are going to open the lid up, put my um, uh, scorer back in, and we are going to place this in at 10 centimetres, and we are going to score. And then we're going to go down to 20 centimetres and we're going to score it again. Okay, so that is that piece there. So this is to create our main part of our card, just like that. Okay, the other piece that we have here, I have this piece here. So this is, I'll just move this aside so you can see. So this is 10 centimetres by 14 and a half centimetres. This is in Coastal Cabana. This is for the front of my card. So that's going to go on. Oh, no, it's not supposed to be 10 centimetres, is it? I didn't look at that properly, did I? It needs to be nine and a half. So that's fine. We can cut that down to nine and a half. I was looking at another card. So nine and a half centimetres by 14 and a half. So that is going to go onto this piece that we've folded in there like that. So we can put that on now, and that will get that out of my way. Since we've got so many pieces, so we'll just use some stamp and seal. Put this on like so, leaving a little border all the way around like that. Now I'm going to do my card this way because I want to do a little scene with the cute little animals. So, I have a little piece here. Now, this is a piece of white. So, this is 7.5 centimetres by 11.5 centimetres. And what I'm going to do with that, I've just got some parakeet party here. So, it's just quite a nice um, green. And we're just going to sponge a little bit of this in the centre of our cup just like this so using the blending brushes just tap gently we don't need it really dark this gives a little bit of color in the background right put that ink pad aside then I have some red a couple of red pieces so this is just a strip so this one is 11 and a half centimeters and it's by oh, just about two centimeters it's just a scrap piece and this is just a scrap piece as well I'm going to cut some dies out of. So we'll bring my little friend in, my little boho blue machine that I absolutely love, love the colour. So we are going to cut out on this strip here, so we'll put this on our cutting um, plate, we're going to cut this little scallop edge. Now when you're putting it on, check what side the cutting blade is on, so it's on there. And we want that to be along the edge there, like that. Oh, it's got a little bit of um, washi tape left from when I used it the other, or when the ladies used it the other day. So I'll use that to keep it in place. And I will just put that through like so. Right. And what that gives us, it gives us this cute little scallop edge, like so. Right, so that's that one done. And then we'll grab another die. So th these dies are out of the um, Zany Zoo set. So we're going to cut, this is a curtain, so we're going to create a little um, scene of the little animals dancing on stage. So we'll cut one of those out. And see, it gives you the nice little lines of the curtain, which is really cool. So we'll put 
that through again because we want two curtains, one for each side of our stage. So we'll put that through there like that. Right, so I'll just put that aside for a moment. That's our other curtain. Right, so that's a little curtain die that comes in that set. There are lots and lots of dies that come in there. So you, apart from the animals that you cut out, you've also got flowers, you've got clouds, you've got balloons, you've got trees, you've got all sorts of things. This one here, I'm not sure what it is. It reminds me of cricket, those bale things. Isn't that what they, is that what you call them? Those cricket things. Right, the other thing that we'll need is that one. And I forgot about that, just thought about it. Right, but we can cut that shortly. So what we're gonna do now is on here, we're gonna create our little um, stage. So we'll just put some stamp and seal on the top and you're just gonna put this along the top like so. And then these are the curtains that are gonna go down the side. Isn't that cute? So, so cute. Right, so um, I might pop those up actually. Why not? And because I've got red, I don't want white to show. It won't really matter if it's white through the gaps, will it? Because you've got white underneath there. I don't need the matter. Let's just grab some dimensionals. One there, one there. One there. One there. And then we can just snip some of the edges. These are great for little bits and pieces. Don't throw them away. So let's put that one down the side. That one down the side there. We'll just peel them off. Mm, here's my pick, pick me tool. There we go. So that can just go down like that. Take these ones off this side. And we'll put that down like that. There you go. So that is our little scenery. So it's going to go on there like that. Now, we could pop that up if we wanted to, which is quite nice. We could do that, or we could just put it down flat. I might just put it down flat because we want it to... Oh, no, I'm going to pop it up. Changed my mind. I'll just grab some more dimensionals. Dimensionals are really good when you're trying to attach things to an embossed image too. They seem to stick really well. Sometimes your yeah, um, piece of doesn't stick as well that your dimensionals do. So we'll just put some dimensionals, we'll just put a few of them along the top and the bottom. So we'll just take those off like that. And we'll just position that there like that. There you go, so that's our little stage, right. Now, we will just bring in a little bit of black. I had some black yesterday with some, um, oh, here we go. I had some from a class the other day. So I might as well use that. Right, we'll bring our little, little machine back in again. And we will grab... Move all this out of the way so I can find what I'm looking for. I cut here. Right, just line your little ballerina girl up like that. Put a washi tape on her, keep her in place. some of this black out the other day and we've got some adhesive sheets on the back of it so the adhesive sheets are great because it means you don't have to glue with um, glue things on with your, with your glue stick and get glue everywhere because the adhesive sheets stick it down so we'll just put that through and this is great because it cuts two curtain ties at the same time so that saves us a little bit of time as well they're just in there like that. So put this aside again. Right. 
take the die out. One there. Oops. Put the die back. And there is one there as well. Oops. My paper keeps moving because my little tree's not holding it down. And there's our little girl. Right. So we'll bring this back in. We'll take the back adhesive sheet off the curtain ties. My nails are getting really long and I'm finding them quite hard to do things with, but my daughter's going to come and do my nails tomorrow, so that's exciting. Right, so the curtain ties can just go across there like that. Turn this one upside down. There, there we go. Cool way. Eh? That's very cute. Right, so little girl's going to go in the middle. Now let's have a look at these other animals that I had a look at. I'm just thinking that, what did I look at? I think that one's going to be too big. I think we need to go with a couple of smaller ones for this particular card. So let me see, what have I got here? Those two will be cute. Right, so I'll just cut them out as quick as I can while I'm just chatting to you. So, um, been really busy since I've been back, back into classes, and we've had, um, what have we had? We had specialty class last week, we had the Zany Zoo class on the weekend, I had the Zany Zoo number two class Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, which was making some more cards and doing a one sheet wonder with the balloon set. Um, and I had container cards yesterday as well. So it's been really busy back into classes, which is really awesome. Um, yesterday we had free shipping, so that was a busy time as well. It's a great chance for me to stock up on a few things for classes. And, um, and this weekend I have got the gold, gold celebration class. So I've actually got the gold celebration um, acetate to show, oh not acetate, window sheet type thing it is to show, yeah acetate, it is acetate, Got getting all my words wrong today, right so there's my little lamb and we'll just quickly do this, um, so I've got the cards done for that, so really excited about that class which is going to be good, so that's on Sunday and Saturday I've got Creativity Now which is an event that's stamping up hold and as a demonstrator we are able to attend that. So that's really exciting and I'm going to get to make lots of different um, cards with some a new bundle that is going to come out in the future. So that's always exciting. So as a demonstrator, we get to um, take part in events like that and we get to order product before everyone else, which is exciting as well. So yes, and there is a fantastic joining offer at the moment. So if you're out there and think, oh, I'd like to be a demonstrator, I'd like to take part in things like creativity now and be able to order things early, um, let me know because we've got this great offer and you get lots of extra free product this month. Okay, so it's only for this month, but it is an awesome offer. Right, once I fold that down later, it will stay down. So we're going to pop her up in the middle. So we'll put her in the middle. Might need a little one to go at the bottom there. Right. So I like when you start to put all this, these bits together and you can start to see the finished result. So we'll centre her, she can be down there, then we're going to have this, isn't she cute, she is so cute, how lovely, I love all these little animals, they're so sweet, right. Might be a bit of an overkill with them. Um, dimensionals but I don't care. There we go. Oh look at that. So pretty. Right and this little one she just probably needs one more over this side just to balance it out. So. And she can go down here like that. There we go. So cute, so cute. Right. Now we need to do the centerpiece. So the centerpiece is a mechanism that um, folds out. So to make that, I have some of this Coastal Cabana. 
So this piece is 13 centimetres by 18 centimetres. Okay. And we are going to bring my trimmer back in. And we are going to score. I don't even need the little leg out for this one. We're going to score it at one centimetre. So when you're doing small measurements, like one centimetre or two centimetres, you can head above that line. So we can put that at one centimetre. Just put my cutting blade across before I cut. And we're just going to score across at one centimetre. And then we're going to turn it around and take it down to 10 centimetres. Okay, just like that. Okay, we are now going to, so this is our one centimetre edge here. We're going to put tape, so just some tear tape along that edge. Like so. And we're going to fold that behind like that. So just use your bone folder to get a good sharp crease. Okay. This one here is going to fold back. So it's going to go like this. And we have a little piece of white to go inside there. Okay. So let's think how it's going to go. It's going to go that way, isn't it? I've got to think because I'm doing it different. <coughs> I might just stamp something on there a bit later. Right, so what we're going to do, we will attach this inside here now. So this piece here, we will take this tape off. Oops. And we're going to attach it on this side of that fold line. So it's a bit hard sometimes seeing. You just center it along there like that okay Oops, I've got a dimensional top there Oops. okay so that's going to go like that and that helps with the mechanism to fold it and push it into this end here then we are going to take some tear and tape and we're going to go along this bottom edge and this edge here as well so just up to the fold line we're going to take that off. And you're going to fold it over. And then, Oh, I know I forgot to put the, the white piece in, didn't I? That's fine. We'll slide it in later. When you've done that, just use your bone folder and just go along that edge like that. And then you can fold this piece back. Okay? Now the reason for that is it's much easier because if your measurements are out a little bit, you get the perfect line. And what's gonna happen is that is gonna fold into there like that, so it will fold closed. Where is it? It's getting stuck on one side there. Why is that not going into there properly? My measurements. Oh, why is that? That did work the other day. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to take it forward a fraction like this because this folds into here. Right, try it again. See if we can get that in. See if that works now. Yes, that works. Perfect. So, go one centimetre and nine and a half centimetres to get it to work. Okay, then when you open it, you open it up and it's going to come back like that. Fancy doing that. Right, that's going to go down onto there. So we'll put that down onto there next. And we need to put our little white piece here going to go inside there so we're going to write on this piece here so this little white piece will bring our trimmer back in and we will have that at 12 and a half and we're going to cut that down to about seven and a half centimeters Then, 
that's going to go in there. I just wanted something on the top corner. So I'm just going to grab from the Zany Zoo piece here this little die here and we'll use the parakeet party because we used that before and we're just going to put a few of these up here just put a few along the edge right so that we'll just put some tape on the back of that just slide that in that on there like that. So this is where we're going to write on there and then that will slide into there when it's closed. Right, so the next thing we need to do, I think I've just marked up one of my measurements along here, that's all. So I will cut a new piece for there. Where's my, oh, just grab some more of that colour. Right, so this is, let's have a look, this is five, just over five centimetres, so if we do it four and a half centimetres, so we'll cut a piece of four and a half centimetres, and we'll just cut half a centimetre off there, so we'll cut this one at fourteen and a half centimetres, right. And then that, move this out of the way, we put this onto here. So we're going to emboss this with this geometrical piece. So we'll pop that in there and we need a, oops, a one in the embossing folder and a three on top. Let's hope I've got this one right. I always struggle with these embossing folders, but it feels good. So let's hope that works fine. Oops, I'm just trying to find my thing again. There we go. Perfect. on there like that okay so it's going to turn around like that now I know I've changed some measurements to here I will um, have a look I've got a typed out instructions for it and I've obviously just measured something wrong when I've um, measured everything and put it together so there you go so that is your card very very cute loving the zany zoo comes out folds over you write your note in there covers up and then it slides back in so it's a little slidey card um, but I will have a look and I will put on here the um, the correct measurements I used the other day for the card that I made so the card that we made in class is this one here and I've obviously just done half a centimeter wrong somewhere but this was the card we made the other day and this slid out like that and then folded back like that it worked perfectly so it's funny, yeah, when you're doing something live, you just do something just half a centimetre around and it mucks things up, but never mind. So that was a card we made the other day. Now, I did tell you I was going to show you um, this gold celebration paper, um, acetate, sorry. So this is amazing. It comes with this, which is all your little swirly little patterns. Um, there's this one here, which is great as well. And then you've got your dots as well. The cat's called Gold Celebration because it's gold. But on the back of it, it's silver. So, you know, for the people that love silver, you can do just use the silver side. So, my idea in class was I had to show you different ways of using things. So, this is one of the cards I created using the gold pattern on here. I've used this one using the gold dots on there. Created this one using the other side of the dot, so the silver side. And we've used the silver side of the little stars. And then this one here, really happy with this. This is a little triple, um, what's it called, triple easel card. 
so this just stands up like that hard to get it to be able to show you when it's on the video but um yeah that was really cool really happy about that so that turned out really cool so that's my class for saturday uh, for sunday afternoon looking forward to doing that um what else is happening don't know so that's our card for today with the slider thing i will post the instructions on my page it may have different colors but the measurements will all be correct so follow that if you'd like to make a card like this um oh love my phone amanda's watching hi amanda <laughs> I was just telling everyone you're going to come and do my nails tomorrow, so that's exciting. <laughs> right, um, so yeah, have a go at that card. Um, send me photos of it. I had a couple of cards come through with the slider card from last week. So congratulations to Karen Bell. You won the um, for your card this week for the one with the wisteria, which was really awesome. You pulled it up and um, the wisteria moved up, and that was really great. Um, thanks, Jewel, for yours. It was really nice to see yours as well so I see Ayla's there hi Ayla oh it's exciting that you're able to watch Nana on um on my Facebook live today so thank you for joining me Ayla loves to come and play in my classroom and I love it when she's here too she gets to make cards and things so looking forward to catching up with her again soon I think we're trying to make a date for Monday so that'll be really awesome Okay, so um, thanks for joining me, ladies. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed catching up with you, like always. Look forward to catching up with you again next week. Uh, if you have any questions about the card I've made or the product we've used, please let me know, and um, I can help you out with that. So I hope you all have a great day, and as I say, thanks again for joining me, and I will catch up with you again next week. Okay, have a great day. Bye for now.